How do you really understand who the African consumer is? And not just to understand as far as from a customer experience or a customer feedback, more so how do we start innovating around the customer? How, how do we start developing better products and services around the consumer? It's not about just one single product. It's that the journey and the experience to your product. That is what we want to do. Well, we, we see the, the masterclass as really just a starting point for what we hope to be an enduring relationship with everybody who takes part in this. We want to put other services and other tools behind the masterclass, which we'll be releasing over the next six months that give these professionals a chance to put into practice what they've learned, that give them the tools to help them do that, and give them the network and the support to enable them to go forward. So we don't see this as, a, as much as a sort of one-off training program, as a sort of launch point for people to build success over the coming years. The masterclass is really a very effective way for people to understand the best practices around building customer experience programs that have evolved over, as I say, probably 10 to 15 years. And so in one fairly intense session, people can catch up with lessons that took many companies a decade to learn. So that's a pretty good way of jump-starting your program and avoiding a lot of the uh, mistakes perhaps that were made in the past. Plus, I think there's a bunch of new ideas there that are going to be the success foundation for the next 10 years. And so you get a little bit of a glimpse into the future and a chance to think what that looks like. Most companies, the number one problem they have building successful MPS programs is data. It dominates the problem. The data that you have drops into the water and the completeness of that data, the quality of that data, is definitely going to determine the level of impact as things ripple out. Most people, if I ask them what Net Promoter is all about, maybe the first thing they give me an answer is they say, well, it's about surveys, which is, which is a tempting way of thinking about it. Or maybe they say it's about a question that we're going to ask customers. If you dig a bit deeper, they might say, well, it's about a score. It's a calculation of some kind. And I would suggest to you, it's none of the above. I don't think it's got anything to do with any of that. These are all mechanics. These are ways in which we've made the Net Promoter concept work. But underneath it all is this basic idea that you have customers we can segment into three separate groups, promoters, detractors, and passives. And the basic idea is that one group, the promoters, is a group that actually grows your company. Another group, the passives, doesn't do a lot for your business. And another group, the detractors, actually slow your growth down and maybe even put into negative, negative uh, growth trajectory. So understanding which of your customers is in which segment is really useful because if you can put the customers into these three groups, then you're able to understand how you're performing because the ratio of the three groups is a pretty helpful piece of information, right? And that's what the Net Promoter Score is. We now can measure every store, how it performs versus mm. another store, and, mm. you, and you made that comment. So we know how every store is doing on a number of complaints. We know how every waiter is doing compared to the next waiter. We know how every branch manager does next, compared to the next branch manager. We know which items give us more product problems, which, is it a salad, is it, is it, is it ice creams, is it, mm. is it shakes? And you, you can drill down and drill down and drill down. Only data can allow you to do that. Our customers have become, by far, our best a mystery shopper, by far, because of this tool. The key is, how do you leverage that information you have to create something that's useful to that customer base you're so keen on retaining? And remember that for banks, really, um, in the last two years, for instance, uh, usage of mobile and internet banking has doubled. The only way we can keep giving you that is if we give you reliable, stable, um, agile innovations and stable systems. So how do we use data to deliver that to customers? It's always about the people. You know, I think when you're in a classroom with, two, with, with a large group of people from multiple com companies, 
It's the enthusiasm of the attendees that matters. And so the stories that we heard about what people were doing in their companies really stood out because you had these narratives and people were being innovative, but they were also giving narratives from the heart. You know, you got this sense of how important it was for them, what they were accomplishing for their businesses, and the accomplishments were very real. So that always stands out. It's those, it's those, it's those stories of success and the pride in that success. Yes, this is a place to be.